What's up everybody, my name is Kasper Nørgaard and today we are going to look at the wireless microphone system from Lensco and you know what, I have a secret for you. So let's pause him for a second. Don't you also hate when you come home from a shooting to find out that all the audio that you recorded is completely lost and unusable. I might have a solution for that. Welcome to my channel. So most of the content here will be about camera gears and reviews and other film related stuff. If you are interested in this and you like this video, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button and leave me a comment if you have any questions or would like to see anything in the future. So what we are looking at today is the wireless microphone system from Lensco called LWM. 328C. This is a wireless microphone system that consists of either one transmitter and one receiver or one receiver and two transmitters, which means that you can cover up to two talents with the same receiver unit. That is a really clever thing to do. And if you are only getting the one with one transmitter and one receiver, it's already pre-made for two uh, transmitters. So I think you can always buy a, a extra uh, receiver later. Transmitter, transmitter. Yeah, so let's look in this, inside this box. You get a decent, uh, a nice product box here. Um, out of the box, it it's looks very nice. You have uh, the, the systems right here. You have a little bag. A little manual also. This bag uh, is not that good for transport, so I would like to s buy something extra for, for these mics so it's easy for me to take out on a shoot without taking this entire case. Uh, but you have a little soft bag here uh, with some accessories or accessories. And what you're getting first, you're getting a little clip that you can put on the back of the a clip for your pants um, that allows you to mount this directly on the cold shoe on your camera or other devices. Uh, other than that you get different cables. You get a normal cable like this with a, an angle on it. You get a straight cable like this also with uh, this feature. Then you will get an XLR cable also to plug in um, and then you get a microphone, a lavalier microphone. All these uh, cables are included with a locking system, which means that uh, on all of the units, both the re receiver and the transmitter, there are a little thread down here so you can unscrew this uh, into the uh, transmitter or receiver and you cannot pull it out, so that's a fail safe feature. The microphones here in general are made of out of some decent plastic. Uh, it's a very hard plastic and when I first got it out of the box I felt like it was a little bit cheap because they were so lightweight but that is because there is no included batteries. You have to put in uh, two AA batteries and it's best to use rechargeable battery batteries. Uh, I will come back to that later. Out of the box it feels really light and that's also what we want. We want a light setup because when you are running gun with the equipment and so on, also when traveling, it's easy when it's lightweight. But as soon as you put these batteries in, you uh, it feels a little bit more robust. When the batteries isn't inside, uh, there is no uh, complications with uh, the plastic is uh, bending or anything. It's a very solid piece. so. I find that very useful. You have a little LCD screen that shows you the information that you need. Um, this is the transmitter uh, unit 
And here I have the receiver unit. As you can see on the transmitter unit, you have one uh, antenna and on the transmitter, you have two. I think that is uh, for each microphone. The antennas are very nice because they are really flexible. So if you have it in your pocket or something, it will not get damaged when bending around. That is a very good feature. Not all of the, the companies uh, deliver this. On the transmitter unit, you have a mic in and a line in. So you can both use the lavalier mic and you can use other things to uh, run through this one. Um, you have a plus and minus button, a set button, and up here, a power button. Uh, on the back, there is a clip, which is very nice. And you have the, uh, now we get back to the uh, battery situation. You have a solution for charging via USB, USB-C connection actually. And that means that uh, you can keep your batteries in and then you can charge the unit via these uh, USB-C you have to use rechargeable batteries. Do not use anyone else uh, normal one-time batteries because they can explode if you, you're using the. So in general, just use those. Let's look at the receiver one for one second. Uh, it's pretty identical. It's, I think it's the same plastic sculpture. Uh, up here you have the, the uh, output for your camera or you have a output for headphones so you can monitor also. It's the same, we have a set button and a plus and minus button. We're missing the power button on this one uh, because that is you, you have to use the set button on the receiver part. Uh, other than that, they're pretty uh, much the same. Now it comes here. If you ever have problems with going to the field, uh, shooting and getting home and you figure out that all the audio is lost, so what to do? You have to shoot it again or be creative in some other ways uh, that will uh, cost you and save, not save time at all. This transmitter unit, the unit that the talent is having on itself, has its option to record directly on a TF card or a micro SD card. That is a very cool feature. So no matter if the connection between these two devices get lost, get damaged, uh, the unit runs out of battery, at least the, the receiver unit, or something else happening in your camera or something, you will um, record the audio the entire time on a separate SD card, micro SD, which uh, you can uh, just put in your PC afterwards and sync up in post. So you have a backup track. That is a very cool feature. I don't know if there are any other brands right now that has this feature. So. That will really help you uh, if you are worried about the, this. Don't pull out the card um, or, or insert the card with the uh, device is turned on. Always turn it off and take it out. When you want to record, you have to re press, press record in this device, the transmitter device. So you set record, then it starts recording and it will record until you say close. So you have to remember that. Uh, it takes up to two, uh, 32 uh, gigabyte, g gigabyte. Oh my God. It takes up to 32 gigabyte, uh, small or micro SD card, also called a TF card. Yeah, but let's try to power up this unit. So if we take the receiver part first that receives the signal from the talent, you have to hold in the set button and it will power up. Uh, in here you can see that you are having two devices, a uh, device A and a device B, which you can enable or disable. If you look at the uh, transmitter unit, the power button is up here and also just hold it in and it will power up. Right now mine, also when I, it got delivered, it was already paired, but uh, there are different pairing options. We have some uh, radio frequencies you can set manually in here. Uh, the uh, unit has to be on the same, like uh, 94 here and 94 here. Then, then these two devices are paired. Over here it says TXA, so you know that that's the A on this device. There are other ways to pair it. Uh, you can use the infrared right here, go into the menu system, place it against, and it will find each other very fast. When you go into the menu system, you have a lot of different options. So let's check uh, the uh, 
transmitter unit first, the one the talent has to wear. If you hold push set or hold set, it will enter the menu. In here we have the channel menu where you can set the channel uh, identification name. So it's paired with that one only. Uh, we have the uh, frequency. Is this one device A or device B? You have to set that also. Uh, the power key lock. That is uh, to uh, make the unit not switch off the power. So uh, if somebody hits this, it will the power button, it will not turn off while it's recording on the uh, talent. That's a very good feature, but I would like to have it a little bit faster. We have the mic gain where you can go from minus three to plus three on the uh, transmitter unit. That is very good because when I'm using, I tested this uh, system with the Rode Lav Go, and that is a little bit um, higher microphone than the included mic you, uh, I'm, I'm having here. Um, which means when I'm using it directly with my GH5, uh, it crushes uh, the, uh, the audio too loud and peaks. But with this one, I can simply just turn down the audio on this one device and then I don't have a problem and I can use that mic if I want to instead. We have the LED that turn says, uh, should this um, panel be lit or not? We have a low cut feature that cuts off the uh, lowest frequencies. So you're getting rumbling backgrounds and so on and taking that out. The bus that's in the background right now should be toned down a bit. Let's check uh, if I change it. So right now you can hear the audio and let's just keep silence. And now I just switch to the on, low cut on. And right now you can see it's on. There was also, also was a symbol at the uh, front screen that showed that it was on. So if I push it up and hit this button again, now it has entered the low cut off and the audio should have been changed. We have the TX power. I'll get back to that in the distance test. So on the other unit, the receiver part, hit the set button one. We have the power for the A device. We have the volume on A. It can, you can change it uh, now, right now it's set to 11. Then we have the power locking key. So you, uh, I, again, locking this device so you cannot turn it off. The LED with the display. Audio output, do you want to use mono? A stereo and I guess that is depending if you're using one or two mics. So that was a quick one. Let's test the system in the range test. So let's go out in the field and test it. So this is just another test to check the range of these devices. If the connection will keep on working or if we get interrupted before the 150 meters. I'll just test the uh, wireless device again, the Lensco LMW 328C and it's set to the highest amount of power, which also consumes the most power, but it gives the most distance. So let's check this one. I will keep it in my back pocket the whole time. Right now we are at 50 meters, so the audio should be very well uh, without interruptions. If it's uh, the right one, there could be some interference from the cars and houses and metaling. Uh, because any environmental stuff uh, could interfere interfere with the uh, with the rains or the the system, so that could be an issue. But I also tested that on an open field. Right now we are at 100 meters, so the weather is a little bit better today. I had a dead cat on my wireless microphone, so I hope the wind is. Uh, not picking up in the microphone as much as it did. Right now, it so again, a second test at the middle power consumption setting, which means it has a low power consumption, but uh, it has a, a, a longer range, no, a smaller range than before. The middle was up to 100 meters. So let's check if this is uh, less or more than 100 meters of a distance. <laughs> so we are at 50 meters right now. Let's check if anything happens with that. This is the middle. 
So we are getting close to 75 meters. This is about here. And there should be no interference because we are, or maybe some interference will, uh, will start being initiated. Right now I am close to 100 meters and that should be the final for the So now I enter the lowest settings in these, uh, for the power for this uh, transmitter, the TX uh, unit. I am 25 meters away, so let's just make a quick test. Is there any interference about 25 meters away? That is a setting without any interference. I think this is this is the one or the middle one I will use in the future. I just turned around. Um, I now have the mic on, on my back again. So we are heading the spot of the 50. Welcome back inside. So I was just looking at the footage from the range test and I would say depending on the environment that you are in, uh, when it's set to high, I would not go over 100 meters because I can see that it introduces some hisses and other interference in the voice uh, or the signal when going over uh, the 100 meters. There are some dropouts and cutoffs in the audio, um, which I cannot uh, count on. For the middle part uh, or middle consumption I would not go over 75 meters and for the low power uh, settings I would not go over 40 meters. Right now we are using the audio directly through the Lensco into the camera in a wireless system with the included mic and this is a sound test how it sounds. You can also always use another mic if you like. You can use it without the locking mechanism or with with a locking mechanism. It works really nice. Uh, if I should have a con to uh, this system, it would be that I wanted to, when I'm monitoring the audio on either this de device directly or on the receiver part, I would like to have uh, an identification that says minus 16 dB or whatever the audio input is because I cannot see that uh, I can only see that it's working, transmitting, and uh, some dots. So I don't know if it's... Uh, I have to monitor it before. I will also always do that, but uh, it's nice to know about uh, the, the range that you want. You can also always control it inside the camera. So a smart thing you can also do on this uh, transmitting device on the talent, you the talent can mute the device uh, just by hitting the power button once. And that will also make a symbol over the microphone that it's muted. You are also on the screen, you have the battery uh, level, you have if it's locked or not for, for powering off, and if it's low cut or just low cut off, uh, so it's completely normal. That will also be short in here, very nice. Uh, all in all, in general, I am very pleased with this. Um, the specs will, start, will be on the screen and the price will be on the screen as well. In the description there will be uh, some other informations and purchasing links as well. So if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I will see you in the future.